In this video, I'm going to show you how to very simply add a new product using um, the import feature on Dataflow. What I've done so far is I've exported my all my products using um, the export feature. If you're not sure how to do that, um, take a look at the previous video that I did, which shows you how to get to this stage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new camera. So what I'll want to start by doing is deleting all products that aren't cameras. So I'm just going to delete all these rows. As you can see the attribute set there it says camera, so these are the ones that I'm keeping. Okay. Those are all gone now. Lots of information is now gone from the spreadsheet and it's a lot easier to look at. Now one of the easiest ways of adding a new product is by duplicating an existing one because there's a lot of um, columns that you have to worry about here and to add all this in from scratch would take quite a long time so one of the my uh, methods that I often use uh, to save time is to export as I've done here what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a product which is quite similar to the product that I'm going to add so this one here on uh, row 6, the Kodak Easy Share, I'm going to delete the other ones and key that one remaining. Okay, now what I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each of these columns and check if the value in there is okay, I'll keep it in there. So I want to add it to the admin store and I want to keep that website as it is. I'm going to put in the cameras attribute set and I want it to be a simple product. I want to put it into the digital cameras category, which the ID for that is 26. If I wanted to add it to extra categories, I'll just simply comma separate them like this. However, I'm going to, in this instance, add it to the digital cameras category. So I can add in a new skew now. So there we go. It's got no custom options on it. To put in the product name. And I'm just going to map more across all these attributes, fill them in. So the manufacturer is Nikon. The URL key will generate itself, so I'm not too worried about adding one of those in. So I'm going to delete this and let Magento create one. What it will do is it will take the product name make it all lowercase and hyphenate between um, the words here where the spaces are also it will remove any um, characters that you can't have in a URL okay going further along for this example I'm just going to keep the meta title out of it and the description okay with the image you can only upload one image by default using Dataflow so I'm going to empty all these and what I've done is I've uploaded an image to the media import folder which is where they have to go if you want to use this feature and to reference it I'm just going to put slash and then the image name ok I'm just going to quickly double check that was the name before I go any further always a good idea Yep, there we go, that's it. I'm going to leave a lot of these columns as they are. Again, you get another URL path there, another setting in Magento, and that's so it can be rewritten. I'm going to leave that one blank as well. Price I'll keep, no, I'll change that to 299. I think it's slightly more expensive. And I'm going to take the cost out of it, keep the weight at 2. Take the minimal price out. Change the description quickly. And I'm going to put that into the short description as well in a moment. I'm going to take the keywords out. I'm not really interested in those. And this in depth one as well. If you leave it blank, it just simply won't add anything. Dimensions, I don't actually know what the dimensions are, so I'll take that one out as well. Okay, the model, put that one in. Activation information, so this is a 
um, attribute which would have belonged to one of the other products that I exported, which is no longer here. If I leave that blank, it just simply won't use that attribute. There's my short description, so I'll put that in there. Okay, so we've got colour, status, happy for it to be enabled, happy for it to be taxable, and I want it to be visible in the catalogue and in the search as well. And we'll say there's 100 of those in stock. Now what we've got from this point is a lot of columns with a 1 or a 0, which in the programming world is a yes or no. Um, I'm not going to configure that here now, I could change it if I wanted to, but it would take quite a long time and obviously this is just an example, so I'm going to leave this as they are. There we go, that's for the product name again. Never really understood why that is. But I'll fill it in anyway. Okay, I want it to go into the store ID zero. Product type is simple. Again, they asked for the product type twice. I'm not entirely sure why that is. And then we've got a lot of blank columns here now. These are all the custom attributes that were added for the other products that were deleted earlier. For example, gender, shoe type, don't really apply to cameras. I could delete these columns if I want. Doesn't really make any difference at this stage. Got one there which is used by a camera megapixels. I'm just going to take that out because that's not true. If we make our way across, we run out of columns. So I've got enough information in here now to perform an upload and to import a brand new product into the store. I'm going to save it. I'm going to add this to my desktop. Okay, so within the Magento admin panel, I'll go to System, Import, Export, Dataflow Profiles, and then I'm going to go to the Import All Products profile. I know it says all products, but it'll only import the ones that I give it. You can configure how you perform your import if you want here. There's a few little settings. You don't normally have to worry about them too much. Um, if you upload the spreadsheet as it is at the moment, it will import as you'd expect. First thing to do is to upload the file. So that's the second tab over here. I click upload file, and then I'll choose my file. I go to my desktop, grab my product, uh, sorry, grab my spreadsheet, and then save. Once it's saved, we go to run profile in this left navigation here. And then you can see our CSV has had these uh, random numbers um, added to the front of it, but that is the CSV. And then I'll click Run Profile. As it's only one record, it shouldn't take very long at all. Once it's finished adding the products, it will re index and then it will give you this finished profile execution. Only when you see this message will it definitely be fully ready to uh, continue with. So if I go back to my product catalogue now, hopefully, my new product is in there. Just been added right to the top the newest ID and the SKU and the price and the quantity are all exactly as I specified in the spreadsheet. If we take ourselves now to the front end with a bit of luck it should have added itself to the category of digital cameras and there it is and it's also grabs the image that I uploaded as well Uh, forget the wish list tonight. There you go, very simple example of how you can use 
the import profiles and data flow to add new products to your store.